Hi there, today we're unboxing a gaming mouse. So this particular one is by Logitech and it's the G502. Details are in the description below for anyone thinking of purchasing. So let's have a quick look around the packaging. Comes really nicely packaged with an image of the actual mouse itself. If I turn it sideways, got some technical details there. It actually supports a DPI of 100 to 16,000. Has light sync as well, so you can have it changing colors has up to 16.5 million colors supported on this. Okay, if we come around here, has a picture of the actual underneath of the mouse and some images of some metal weights that you can attach to increase the weight of the actual mouse if you found it too light. Okay, coming around here, got some branding and that's it. So let's open it up and see what we get in the packaging. Okay, so I've laid out everything you get in the packaging, so let me quickly go through the items one by one. So initially, you've got this large sheet, and this is to do with important safety, compliance, and warranty information. And this is multi-language from what I've seen. Okay, next thing is the instructions. So a small piece of paper, nothing on the other side, just got details on how to connect it up. So USB straight into your computer, and it has details of opening up the back and putting the actual weights on there. Okay, next we've got plastic case, all plastic all around, some branding on there, and if I pop it open, you can actually see the weights you can put underneath the mouse to actually weigh it down a little bit more. And if I come in close there, just to give you an idea, each one is 3.6 grams. Okay. okay, so let's take a look at the actual mouse. So nice build to this and design, very ergonomic look to it. So if I just place my hand over it just to show, just rest quite nicely over it. In terms of size, the actual length of it, if I come in just underneath just to give you an idea, we're saying 13 centimeters in length from the top to the bottom. Let's come in close on here and just give you an idea some of it is matte black obviously you've got the branding there and some areas have subtle bits of gloss on there so just to show if we come in underneath just here obviously you've got the sensor there and if i pull on that it just pops off and you can put the weights underneath to weigh it down a little bit more cable wise a nice braided cable on there just to show if i come in a bit closer Feels really nice actually, slim as well, not too chunky, and a nice connector on the end as well. Button wise, you've got 11 buttons on here, so let me show and press them one by one just so you can hear the actual quality of the clicking. There you go. Pretty nice feel to all the buttons. So positioning wise, it does work quite well. If I bring it in here, so obviously your thumb would rest on there. Click that one. The other two are at the side. You can hit them quite easily as well. And again, you've got the additional ones here. So really well thought out in terms of positioning of the buttons and a good feel as you're holding it, I have to admit, very comfortable to actually hold on to. Okay, so I've measured the actual cable you get attached to the mouse and you get 1.9 meters on there. Okay, so I've got an electronic scale here. I've placed the mouse at the bottom and I'm gonna to attempt to weigh it. So it comes in at 110 grams. Okay, so next I'm gonna show how to attach the weights on the back of the mouse. So as I've already shown, pretty straightforward to open this up. It's actually attaches and latches on via a magnet. So if I let go, you can see it just clipped back on. Let's pull this off, open up the actual case, and each one can be taken out to your requirements. So let's put them all in just to show what it's like. There you go. That's what it's like with all the weights in there. And again, you can just close it off. 
like so, and it gives more of a weighty feel to the actual mouse. Okay, so next I'm going to show how to install Logitech G Hub software. If I click here in Google and search for Logitech G Hub download, this software actually allows to customize their products ranging from obviously the gaming keyboards, mice, and even the gaming headsets. So there you go, the first link that's appeared, Logitech G Hub, Logitech support. If I click on that, okay, scroll down, and this is the one we're after. So I've got Windows 10, and I'll download that. And we'll just do a, a straight run on that. Okay, so by clicking install, you agree to the terms of the end user license agreement. Click install. Let's give it a moment. Okay, we'll just double click the icon on the desktop. There you go. Simple as that. We've got it set up now. Okay, so it's picked up the actual gaming keyboard I'm using at the moment on here. Okay, so next, let's take the mouse and the actual USB connector on there and plug that into my computer. Okay, so it's plugged in and there you go. Appeared straight away, so G502 Hero. If I click on it, you see the options available. So let's show the primary first. So the primary, if I increase it there, so it's just there. And if I bring it around, give you a better idea of what it looks like. And obviously the logo is the G on there. I increase the rate on that there you go so going back to primary if I go to fixed I can pick a color along the side and again with fixed I can pick a color for the logo pretty straightforward to change if I come here got obviously breathing same for the logo as well breathing and then you've got screen sampler so it will take a region of your screen and mimic the color from that area so that can be applied to both the primary and the logo and then you've got audio visualizer so that will sort of play along with music you have okay next is assignments and just to show what you have available you've got commands keys actions macros macros is an interesting one obviously you can create your own macro and a system as well so these are the clicks buttons you've got available so just by default primary click secondary click and then you've got your dpi up and down which are the sides here and then scroll left scroll right buttons onboard profile cycle and middle click okay next if i go to here dpi settings so you can adjust to your requirements what you prefer and then shift between them so as straightforward as that okay so another thing to mention regarding the actual dpi on this mouse so you've got this button on the side of the mouse so just here and that's the DPI shift speed. So what the advantage of this is, so if you look on the screen, we've got a number for the DPI in orange. And as soon as you press this shift button, no matter what setting you're on, and the settings highlighted by it being underlined, it will shift over to that orange value. So great for gaming if you want to flip quickly over. So if I hold the shift now, there you go, the orange is underlined, and if I move the mouse, there you go, much slower pace. And if I release it, there you go, the faster pace has come back again. So advantage is, if you're using games where you've got a sniper, for instance, you can quickly slow it down and get it to a point where you've got that accuracy to shoot and then release and go back to your speed. So really cool bit of functionality on this mouse. Okay, so we've got our gaming mouse connected to our gaming laptop 
and you can see it in action now. Ergonomically, it works really well, fits nicely around your hand, and you can program the keys, obviously, just to have them to your requirements. So let's show the actual DPI in action on a sniper gun, for example. So that's with the fast motion. And if we take down the DPI, just to show, got to move it now, and there you go. And then you flip back to high DPI. It's pretty useful and obviously helps get that accuracy when you're sniping, for one example. The other thing is if you look on the side of the mouse and if we flip between the actual different DPI settings right now, you can see the lights changing to indicate the actual DPI you've got selected. Pretty smart. And gaming wise, very comfortable to game with. Okay, just to show an option on the actual scroll wheel on the mouse. So that's one mode of operation where it doesn't keep rotating. If I click here, there you go. It just keeps going. Flip it back. So there's the two options you have available on the actual scroll wheel. Okay, so you've seen the unboxing and setup of this gaming mouse. Really cool design to it and very comfortable feel as you're actually playing with it. Buttons are positioned really well and a great scroll wheel on there as well. Build quality is great on there as well and the software is really nice how you can configure this. So there you go. Hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this. Details are in the description below. Thanks for viewing and don't forget to like and subscribe.